Thank you very much, everyone. Um, long, long flight from Israel, still jet lag, but uh, let's talk about Zeus. Um, as I said, I'm a member of the technical staff at NetApp. NetApp. About two years ago, NetApp acquired a small Israeli startup called Plexistore, a pioneer in developing the payment based uh, product, file system. And now within NetApp, it's called Max Data. And as part of the development of Max Data, we developed a framework called Zoofs. It stands for Zero Copy User Space uh, File System. I'm not going to talk about the entire uh, Max Data product. I'm going to focus specifically on the ZooFS framework. Um, as said, it's a framework for developing a user space file system oriented mo mostly for PMM devices. That's why I'm here, naturally for Linux uh, servers. It's a part of our uh, NetApp's uh, larger product called Max Data. Um, it's, it has, has been designed for modern machine with multiple cores, multiple NUMAs. Uh, keep in mind that the world of servers has changed dramatically in the past 10, 20 years. Uh, we designed it in order to achieve minimal performance penalty when mo moving to user space. And it has, has been heavily tested by uh, NetApp. <clears throat> it's part of a, a product already available. I'm showing you a short uh, slide from the marketing the, of NetApp. This is actually a bit old slide which compares the max data to another NetApp product to just give you an example of what you can achieve with premium devices in terms of performance. Now, the interesting part about this slide is that we already see a max data which uses ZooFS. So you can see that even when you implement a user space file system, you can achieve relatively low latency. Uh, hopefully, in the next month, uh, NetApp will also publish a white paper about Max Data with an updated performance. We have improved a lot, both the product itself and the ZooFS, and you should expect even better performance uh, numbers. <clears throat> Keep in mind, uh, watch the NetApp blog. Uh, we test uh, the ZooFS and, and, the, and the Max Data product in our labs extensively, both on uh, real hardware and on um, uh, emulated persistent memory. For those of you who are not aware of the possibility to emulate uh, PMM devices in Linux, it's relatively easy. You just on the right side, you see a snippet of my own VM. You just uh, add a, a, a memap entry to the boot line, and you get a PMM device. So a typical uh, engineer within our team will first test its code on an emulated uh, uh, machine, emulated PMM on a VM machine, and that one on a real uh, hardware. <clears throat> So the question is why PMM, why file system, and why is UFS? So why PMM, we all know because we are here in this conference, but uh, just uh, to make it more uh, clear, uh, faster storage implies better revenue for our customers. And we, that's a clear feedback that we get from NetApp, that's a clear feedback NetApp gets from its customers. Lower latencies implies better revenue for the customer. So that, that's obvious. Why file system? So, uh, a bit contrary to the trend that was here in the audience before, um, naturally there are modern applications that will, read, will be written, de uh, dedicated to uh, PMM devices, but uh, most applications out there are still used to work with file system API. We have a long leg legacy code out there. Uh, it's gonna take some time for an uh, application to be rewritten with some modern uh, or some alternative uh, SDKs. And it's actually convenient to work to, to, ac to access storage uh, via file system API. Why Zoofs? So we decided to, de to develop a product which is payment based in user space. Looking for alternatives, we've, we decided that uh, we need to develop our own uh, framework. And why did you decide to develop in user space? The first uh, reason is time to market. So actually I should add another bullet, which already was already said before, developing in the kernel is hard. Okay, so it's pretty much like saying the first bullet. And developing in user space is a more simple time to market. And for a commercial company, developing in user space, having shorter uh, development cycles is mean uh, lowering the budget. 
resilience, when you develop a file system in the kernel, a bug in the file system, and just should, let's, let, let to be clear, there must not be any bug in the, in the file system, but unfortunately those things happen, implies a, a crash of the entire uh, server. When you develop a, 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 a file system in the user space, you still have the server up and running. And I didn't mention it before, but we're talking about a, a, a software-defined solution. That means that it runs on the same server as the other application of the customer. Okay, it's not a, it's not a, a separate appliance. We're talking about the same server or the application of the, of the customer and our file system are installed. And we don't want to crash the entire server in, in case of a bug. It simplifies development. You have a lot of tools in the user space which allows you to debug and to profile your application. You may, use a, you may want to use external libraries. Uh, now, the kernel nowadays have, have a very rich set of uh, functionality provided within the kernel, but think of things like compression algorithm which is not yet implemented in the kernel or some kind of sophisticated encryption which is not implemented. You don't want to port everything into the kernel. You want to make use of existing uh, user space libraries. There's the whole issue of licensing for uh, commercial companies. And there's also the issue of a uh, programming language. Sometimes uh, you, went, you may want to use a different language in the user space, it's more easy. <laughs> so the natural question is why not Fuse? We already have a, a framework in Linux to develop a file system in user space, it's called Fuse. It's an excellent framework long tested, uh, and one should not consider Zoofs and Fuse as competitors. There are, there are different solutions for different, for different problems. Zoofs is pretty much oriented toward developing the payment-based file system in user space, very efficient oriented. It can serve other use cases, but its main goal is to, to, deserve, to serve payment-based file system. While Fuse is more general uh, purpose file system, it, it's modeled around some kind of NFS like maybe asynchronous operation to, towards the user space. Zoofs itself is open source. Um, its main uh, developer is Boaz over there, a member of uh, our team, long time uh, kernel developer. Uh, its components are a, a kernel model, which we call the uh, Zoof. It stands for Zoof Feeder. A Zeus which is a Zeus library and a Zeus daemon. It's the user space part, and it's licensed under BSD. We also provide a small uh, demo file system, which we call a ToyFS. Those of you who will, will take, download the code, keep in mind, ToyFS is just a demo. It's a toy file system. Don't expect it to, to run like a production file system, but it's a good one for demo. And the source itself is hosted at GitHub. So what are the challenges? Before we took at the chances, let's take a, a, a short uh, look at this, at the image on the right side. It, says, it, it shows three examples of the cat utility. So the first one is, is a simple one that we use every day, where you use a local file system with a local device, and the, in this example, the ext4 file system just simply copies data from the underlying device into the application uh, pages within the kernel. With NFS, we have to do an extra copy over the network. We may, we may use the page cache, but still we run in this, in, within the kernel. When we're talking about a user space file system, we have to go back and forth between the kernel and the user space. In our example, CAT is a read operation. We go through the VFS into the kernel module, then back into the user space daemon, which in turn has to go into the PMM, to the PMM device, and then all the way back with the data providing to the application. So this is the main challenge. How do you avoid all, all those context switches and, and copies? So the main challenge is how to avoid the extra copies. And the trick, this is the main novelty of Zoofs, that will let the Zeus dewrite directly into the application pages. I will explain this shortly in, in, a, in more details. It will actually allow through for the duration of the IO itself the user space file system to write directly into the pages of the original application. And we have another uh, trick we do. We provide the kernel, the Zoof KO, mapping to the IO of the, of the, requ the, to the requested IO. Having a PMM device means that we run on the same server. We can just hint the kernel, the Zoof, look, the 
required pages are located on those offsets, and the actual I.O. will be made by the Zoof K.O. Think of it like uh, providing the kernel uh, with an FIE map of the requested uh, I.O. and you can serve the I.O. within kernel. How do we serve uh, an efficient MAP? Because we know that many applications nowadays, especially database, use MAP to, to access data. And we provide a mechanism which bypass the, the page case and, and, access, and have, provide access, uh, direct access to the PMEM. And also, how do we preserve affinity? We make a mechanism which guarantees that the entire operation will be served on the same CPU. So just uh, to, to put the pieces together, um, we developed a mechanism to do a mount. Uh, the details are under the hood, of course, are more, much more complicated, but we developed a mechanism to provide mount, which is very much similar to the way we, we would do a mount for an in-kernel file system. So essentially, we do an ins mode for the kernel module. We have a dedicated mount, a CSFS mount, which is the communication entry point between the user space and the kernel. That's the first part, just load the KO and do a, a dedicated mount. We run a user space daemon, that's the second part. And then an MKFS, in our example it's a ToyFS, just for the demo, and, that, and just mount with a special ToyFS uh, derivative of a PMM device, straightforward. So a bit terminology of the ZooFS, uh, the concept and the build building blocks before we dive into the details. We call a ZT a dedicated Zoof threads run on user space with affinity to a specific CPU. It's a kind of, think of it as like a, a server for the kernel, an extension to the kernel in user space. A dedicated thread which, just, which is just simply waiting for a kernel to execute operation. Now keep in mind that when we speak about a PMM based file system, we can, in many cases, if not all, do a kind of run to completion operation because the PMEM operates almost on the same speed as normal memory. It's different from the ordinary, from the traditional file system, which use the slow device. Even an SSD is slowed in, this, in that sense. We, we have what we call a ZTVMA. It's, it's a four megabyte MAP VMA, which allows us to do the mapping, the temporal mapping of the pages from the application into the ZUSD user, user space server. We have a dedicated file descriptor per, per ZT, which is to communicate with the kernel via IOCTLs. We developed a mechanism which we call a relay. It's a kind of, a, it's, a, it's a dual uh, wait queue, essentially, in which the application arrives and put into a wait queue and then we wake up this, the relevant ZT on the other side. We'll go into details immediately. And we also provide a, what we call a PMM MD, a multi-device, the ability to take multiple uh, PMM devices and map them into a single region. Okay, so just to, to, to understand what the ZT, how it works. So in this example, um, let's say that we will operate on CPU one and the application will execute a system call, and through the VFS, through the ZOOF, goes all the way to the, what we call a relay object, we'll put into a wait queue, and the ZOOF will wake up a dedicated ZT, which is waiting on the other side to, do, to execute its operation. Once it's back, the ZT, it will, as part of its response, it will or provide also all the necessary information to complete the, the, the operation, put it into the wait, its own waiting queue and wake up the application with a proper uh, response. What we also see that we have two dedicated, per ZT, we have two dedicated um, MAP regions. One is to provide, one is to um, deliver the control information needed to complete the, the IO, and the other one is to um, MAP the application pages into the ZT. So let's look at a simple read example. Before we do the read, the actual read, of course, we need to do a mount, as we said before. Um, you know, in this example, I took a, an example of uh, multiple PMM devices mapped into a single uh, 
region of PMEM. As part of the negotiation of the mount, of, as part of the mount uh, sequence, as part of the handshake between the kernel side and the user space side, the kernel will allow the user space to access the PMEM device as part of its address space. Okay? This is all done as part of the mount. In order to, to, go to, to demonstrate the read example, we first have, must have this step uh, before. So here comes the magic. Here's the, the, an example of a read operation. So let's go about it step by step. A read operation will begin with a system call through the VFS all the way to the ZOOF uh, kernel module, which in, in turn will decide on which CPU the, the, this uh, operation was executed. In our case, let's say it's CPU number one. Now the application will be added to a wait queue and the ZOOF will map its pages, only the relevant pages for the IO operation into the dedicated area of the ZT. Okay, so now a user space ZOOFD can access the pages which the, the, which the application issued during the write, so during the read. Now the application is put into the wait queue and you wake up the ZT to execute the command, which in turn goes all the way to the user space daemon, calls the relevant system call within the file system, the user space file system. In our case, it will be the ToyFS read, which in turn goes to the PMM device. Remember that in the previous slides, I showed you that now the, the user space application have the ability to access the PMM device, right? So now we have a ZT. On the one hand, he has the pages of the application. On the other hand, he has a mapping to the PMM device. And you can do a direct write from the PMM device into the, directly into the application of, in the user space. Okay? Once, the, once, you've, once it finishes its writing into the, into the pages of the application, the ZT will return into the kernel with uh, control information for the ZOOF to complete the operation, put into the waiting queue, the ZOOF will wake up the, Z the application back and return to the user space application. Finish the system call, okay? If we take a look, why did we bother? So I said before, it's, it's not only for, to avoid all those copies, we also want to address the issue of having complicated machines with multiple calls where I.O. can happen from different threads concurrently on different CPUs. So in this example, we see an, a read-write where two threads, or maybe it could be two processes, but in our case, it's two threads. One is issuing a read, one is issuing a write, and running on different CPUs. We are having a ZT per, per core. Actually, we have a, multiple, a set of ZTs per core. So we can execute both operation in parallel and utilize all the cores on the machines, on, the, on this machine, without interfering with, it, with, it, with each other. And in each case, in one case, we will write into the application pages, from the PMM into the application pages. On the other case, we will write from the application pages into the PMM. Naturally, of course, the file system itself has to do a lot of stuff other than just this, because file system needs to, in case of a uh, write, to maintain a location, some kind of mapping tree or whatever. Those are details that I don't provide here. But the, the, the core of the, of the mechanism, which allows us to, to write, to read and write from and to the, the pages of the application, saves us the need to do back and forth copies from the user space and kernel. So we had, we, as I said before, we have another uh, trick in our sleeve. Um, in some cases, we may want to provide the kernel simply a hint where the pages of the, in the, of the PMM, of the requested I.O. exist on the PMM. If we provide the, the kernel the information where the data is on the PMM itself, it can do the, the, the copy to the application within kernel. 
in, in such case, the, the user space daemon is only serving as some kind of mapping mechanism for a kernel. Okay, so it's more complicated actually because this is this is fine for read operation. For write operation, we still need to go back to the user space to update metadata. Okay, so there's actually um, this is a bit mind-boggling mind to think about it. I, I, I recall when I first implemented my own file system in user space using Fuse, it was a bit confusing to think about it because when you think about it, you're not used to the idea of going back and forth through the kernel, back and kernel. It's a bit uh, mind-boggling. It's kind of magic, actually. And it dates back to the uh, historical debate of a uh, microkernel versus a uh, monolithic kernel. There's a lot of issues about, uh, behind the scenes. And diving into the details to, watch, to, to follow the flow of IO is, is not trivial. But there are actually more complicated stuff to think about. The first one, of course, is MAP, which is uh, more tricky, uh, especially when you have a fault and you have to go back to the user to the to, to the user space and, to, to, and back to the kernel. And you want to, and typically MAP will be done on large ranges, so you somehow somehow don't want to provide only the mapping for a single page. You want to provide a mapping for a range of pages. There's the whole issue of tiering. One of the novelties of Max Data, which is which deserves a, a lecture on its own, Max Data is a is a tiering product. It enables you to provide the first a fast tier of PMEM and a second tier of SSD or on top. So that means that you can have a, a capacity. Say you have a PMEM of uh, one terabyte and another uh, backend store of 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 a hundred terabytes. Sorry, ten terabytes. You get a, a, a feeling as if you are working for 11 terabytes with a speed of one terabyte. And the file system knows how to do all the magic of auto-tiering behind the scenes. Now, that's that's complicated in terms of uh, how you do it with, with this framework because you, are, you have to add into account async operations. There's the whole issue of uh, what you do when you have a very heavy load machine with a zillion uh, threads uh, running because, as I said before, you have a finite number of ZTs waiting to serve the I.O. But what happens when you have the number of concurrent threads which execute I.O. is much larger than the number of threads which are ready on the user space side to execute? There's an entire mechanism to do some kind of back pressure there. Again, it's, it's co more complicated than I can dive within this uh, lecture. And I would also uh, like to note that uh, ZooFS, or ZOOFS as we call it, is improving every day. It has been heavily tested. It, it, it bypasses all XFS tests and the well-known suits, and it, it proved itself uh, already in our labs and some of our NetApp customers. It's a working product. Um, so anyone, I think, one of the motivation for NetApp to, to, to send me here and to put it open source is because we believe that other companies that may want to develop a PMM-based file system in user space would benefit a lot from using this framework. And uh, I do admit that, as said in other uh, lectures, there's a lot of work to do in the, on the documentation side, but the code itself is pretty stable. Well, so uh, had I known that uh, the, the audience would be so technical, I would add more code. I, I, I Actually, I dropped a few, <laughs> few slides of code because I said, <laughs> Who's going to be interested in? But those of you uh, want to know how we do the magic of of mapping. This is the this is the code snippet, which does the actual mapping between the the user space and the ZUSD and vice versa. And within the code the code the code in, which is already hosted at GitHub, you will find it at the ZUS core. Um, it's not a big. It's that it's not. It's relatively a small uh, code, but it's very dense, as it often happens on the uh, kernel code. Um, questions? Yeah. You said the, the source code with, with, with the toy FS. Is, yeah. is, is, is Zoop just a, is just a framework and then you have to get a separate module to execute into a processor? Well, if you, if you want to implement this, so, so as I said, ZooFS is part of a larger product developed by NetApp. And, and it's, it's a kernel model, 
a user space library and a daemon. And then there's the NetApp proprietary source code. So we don't release it open source, unfortunately. <laughs> but we do provide the demo file system, which we call uh, ToyFS, and it's also part of the Zeus uh, uh, repository, GitHub repository. So the, the instruction, I actually added two more slides about a few, how to do a, a build, and, and, and it's very pretty uh, simple. And you can also find, I think, uh, in the GitHub. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's it's also uh, the instruction also uh, in the GitHub. And of course, more than welcome to to anyone here. More than welcome to communicate me via email if there are any questions. So, so where are credentials? Yeah, of course. It's no, not 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 on. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the actual credentials um, are made by the VFS itself. Yeah. It's, it's no different than the, uh, yeah, in that sense. So we, we, oh, there's, there's an entire uh, mechanism of how do you update an, an inode. Okay, so say just a create operation where you provide the, the UID, GID. Somehow you also need to make sure that the in-kernel inode mirrors the one you have. So there's a mechanism, but and, and you do make a copy here, but it's relatively small. I mean, the metadata copies are really yeah. just. So, I mean, like in your GitHub, <coughs> I would see the credentials being checked in the Toy FS version. <coughs> is it part of the FS? Because he knows where the metadata is. It says whether you're allowed to open and find it. The, the, the checking itself is done by v, the VFS before. The, the, Zoof, the Zoof and the VFS is part of the, the credentials. The credential checking itself is done within the kernel. You don't. File permissions are stored in file. Yeah, so all so all you need to provide the kernel is what is the file permissions, okay. what the UID, but the yeah, actual. That's the, part of the yeah, part yeah, of the definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten,